very special Power Player of the Week. Now a special story we first brought you on Mother's Day. It's about a treasured member of Fox News who's been fighting a tough battle this last year while taking care of her three young children. And she's our Power Player of the Week. I think when you're a mother, you don't have time to stop and think about it. You immediately go into action mode and you think, okay, I've got to be strong because I've got to be strong for my kids. It was September 28th when Jennifer Griffin, Fox News national security correspondent, found out she had an aggressive form of breast cancer. Her first thoughts were of her children, daughters Annalise and Amelia, and baby Luke. She and her husband Greg decided right away to be open about it. What scared you? Getting breast cancer. Their first question is, can we catch it? And that's the first thing you have to tell children is that you're not going to catch it. Then what scared them the most was the fact that I was going to be bald. I said, I'm going to lose my hair. And that's when Amelia's mouth dropped. Jennifer tried to involve her children to take the fear out of the illness. She told them she would get wigs <laughs> like their favorite Miley Cyrus on Hannah Montana. And when she shaved her head before chemotherapy took her hair, she brought seven-year-old Amelia along. Amelia used the video camera and filmed me through the whole thing. And she was much more at ease with the whole bald issue. It was tougher for nine-year-old Annalise. It's very slow you in that hair. Everything's going to be fine. Does it make you not want to come close to me? There was another crisis when kids at Annalise's school started saying she had breast cancer. Jennifer ended up going to both her girls' classrooms. You can't catch cancer. You can't catch it from me. She can't catch it from me. I was bald as a cue ball, and I was taken for show and tell. That helped her explain to her friends why her mom showed up with a different wig at each pickup. But sometimes it was the children who lifted Jennifer up. One night she came home from a tough chemo session. And there was Luke in the kitchen, and he had just taken his first steps and he walked towards me. And then immediately I forgot about the chemo and the girls had him doing laps in the living room <laughs> until he could barely walk. There must have been some tough moments. There must have been some low moments. Definitely. There were nights where Annalise cried herself to sleep when I had to lie down with her and, and comfort her. And, and she asked me if I was going to die. Did you ever think, what if I miss all the moments of my children growing up? Every minute of every day, I thought that. I mean, that's in the back of any mother's head. Um, but you dig deep and you, you say, I'm going to be there for the graduations and I'm going to be there for the grandchildren. And that's what pulls you through. After a double mastectomy in April, Jennifer got astonishing news. She is now cancer free. She says her children were the calmest members of the family. What have you lost this last year, and what have you gained? We lost a little bit of innocence this year, but what we gained as a family in terms of them understanding that life isn't always fair and that if you're strong and you set your mind to something, you can get through it, I think we gained a lot more than we lost. Jennifer's recovery has gone so well, she is coming back to work this week. And in typical Jennifer fashion, she's headed to Afghanistan to interview the U.S. commander, General David Petraeus, and report from the battlefield. And yes, she'll be back at her regular post reporting for the Pentagon after Labor Day. A very happy ending. And that's it for today. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Fox News Sunday. Fox News Sunday is a presentation of Fox News.